Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a very easy way to corner pin inside Premiere Pro. Now, I did this on a video I uploaded earlier today, so I thought I'd do a very quick tutorial just to show you how I did it. So here we are inside Premiere Pro, and this is the footage that I made from uh, a screen recording of the Fuji X-F10 and a still photograph I shot at the back of the camera and then retouched in Photoshop. So let's start by dropping into the timeline the still photograph that I had retouched. So let's just expand this a little bit. So what we need to do is drop that on here to create a new sequence. So as you can see, this is my raw picture and this is through the lens uh, picture of our apartment. So what we need to do is replace that with some footage of the menu on the camera. Now you're probably asking why not just record the back of the camera with me thumbing through the menus? Well I've got grubby hands and I think it looks a lot neater and you might not just want to do this on the back of a camera. You might be using some um, a screen recording from your phone or some other device and you want to place it onto a still photograph. So okay here we are. Uh, I'll stop gabbling on. Here we are on the back of the uh, Fuji XF10 and we need to put the video footage of the menu system in here. So this is corner pinning. So of course the first thing you need to do is drag on your footage from your recording of the uh, screen. So this is the recording I have of the XF10 menus and as you can see it's slightly offset and it's a bit smaller than this uh, still photograph. So what we need to do is resize it and drag these corners out to match the corners of this screen behind. So go down to your effects menu, type in corner, corner pin is the plugin you're looking for, drop that onto that clip, then go to your effects control panel, find corner pin, click on there, and then you'll get these toggles come up in the corner. And then it's just super easy just to drag these around to the corner of the screen that you want to place that footage onto, like so. And then just finesse that a little bit. And almost there, and just click off that. Looks good to me. I just want to hide that a little bit more there. So going back into corner pin. And there you go. That is pretty much it. So just tidy up your clips. So I'm going to bring that back over there. That will stay in exactly the same place because the still photograph is a still photograph and it's not moving. So the video footage will be pinned to exactly where that screen is. So I'm going to just cut this back now, click W, delete that off. I'm good to render this out and we're all done. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. Please ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. I'm making plenty of them, so stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.